Hi, Alex here from rebeloper.com and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this tutorial series on DuckUI, Swift UI in UIKit. Well, kind of. And today we are going to talk about logs. Okay, everybody. We are going to talk about logs and why it is so important to use uh, smart looking logs in your uh, projects, where basically when you are going to build that out. I most often use print statements. I have created the log and it's really awesome. I do have a separate video on this uh, besides DocUI, but I have added this to DocUI and I want to show you how easy and useful it is to log uh, on our console. So, uh, what do we use logging for? Well, uh, we are kind of lazy developers, so we are kind of tracking where our code is running. So let's see, for instance, in the view did load, let's, uh, we usually, not in the view did load, but somewhere else, we just kind of print out some stuff like um, view did load indeed. Okay, and uh, yeah, now we know that we are in here and uh, yeah, Let's just build and run and see that printed out in the log. Okay. I'm just, yeah. And as you can see, there we go. View did load indeed. Okay. Now that is what we usually do. We know that, okay, the program has run till here. If there is some issue, it did occur or it didn't occur. And that's what we use most commonly the log for. And uh, we use print statements, but this can, uh, be hidden in a lot of other logs that are printed out in the console. So, delog to the rescue. Let me just delete this because it kind of looks hideous by now in my eyes. And let's see, let's add a single line. So it is pretty straightforward. Yeah, first of all, make sure you have added DocUI to your CocoaPods. If you haven't already done so, if you don't know, go ahead and take a look at the, one of the first videos on this playlist. All the links are down below. So, coming back, DLog. Okay, it is pretty simple. You don't even have to type DLog. Just type in a log and a dot, and then you, you just, uh, let's say we want to have a new line, so a line, a line, LN, line. And we have these two parentheses and a dash like so, because that basically initializes this. And in here, we want to add always a string. So these are just a few lines, a uh, few rules that you have to have. Now let's uh, type in here, let's say one, two, three, just to make sure that we do have that log printed out in our console. We should see it right here, okay? And it looks really, really nice. Let me just make this a little bit larger. Yeah, one, two, three. Or let's see, view read load. We are in view read load. But let's say we want to have some other icons here and they are, believe me, are, there are quite a few there. And I just want to show you just a few of them. Let's go into the setup views with safe area. Let's log with success. And um, let's see, inside setup views now. Okay, and that is it. Let's hit command R to see that in action. <coughs> okay, inside setup views now and the view did load. And now you kind of know which one comes first. Great. Okay, and as you can see here, we have some cool uh, emojis or not emojis, they are icons, okay. Now, uh, let's just uh, jump into the definition right away and see that we have a line, success, warning, error, to do, and the URL. Of course, if you wanted to, you could uh, extend upon this, but hey, it's up to you. Okay, uh, one thing to note is that, you know, print statements are here and there, but uh, they take up memory, of course. And if you wanted to have uh, them show in the DMOC, 
follow these four steps only. So that is just it. So enable logs, uh, go to the build settings, other C flags, enter this D debug for the debug flag, comment out this if and if stay uh, lines and just celebrate. That's it. And now you will be presented only with uh, debug uh, mode logging. Okay, I won't do that because yeah, we kind of cannot test it, but yeah, it is a memory saver. Now, there is one last thing that I want to talk about logging and that is, let me just uh, move this up. We don't really know inside setup views now or view did load which class, where, when. And that is where the D-logs stats come in. So let me just type in here. Let's add it uh, like so. Maybe add uh, like that and the D-log and stats. So that's it. Just add D-log stats into your log. Make sure that it needs to be inside here because it's taking the reference of where it basically is called and that is going to be printed out. So dlog.stats inside your log uh, statement. Okay, let's build and run again and see how that looks. Oh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Now let's deconstruct this. Uh, here you can see inside setup views now. So that is uh, uh, what you already knew. Uh, we have that check mark, so we do have that icons. What is this M? This means that we are on the main thread. Uh, June the 1st, yes, and so on, the date, time. Uh, root view controller, dot swift, real nice. Setup views with safe area and the line 26. And the same goes, the same data for our view read load uh, log statement. Now, this is very, very good for debugging your code. I, I can't tell you how awesome it is. Uh, and you know, even this uh, M, so we are on the main thread. What if we wanted to, let's say after here, and I will finish this tutorial uh, with this. So uh, call on the dispatch queue helper from DocUI. I also have a tutorial on that. So go ahead and take a look at some previous videos on the dispatch queue helper. So we want to delay uh, in a few seconds, let's say after three seconds and on the background thread. So here we go. We are in the background and in the completion, let's log. Let's say let's log a war, an error. Let's log an error here. These warnings are so lame. Errors. We want a huge error. Okay. And let's see. Let's add in here our stats. So I just simply copy this out paste it in there and what should be the error let's see three seconds are or past okay maybe that's an error that three seconds have passed okay let's build and run and see how that looks okay we do have the first two and then we have that. So we are not on the main thread. And of course, then we are on the background thread. So we do know, and this is important because sometimes when you fetch some data, let's say an image uh, from server and you are displaying it uh, on an image view and you are doing, it on, doing that on the background thread, uh, that will not happen. So yeah, it can take up to a few seconds or at all to display your image. So. You are not on the background thread, so now you know. Uh, yeah, and the same goes, line 29 and the message that we have added there, three seconds past. So yeah, that is a D-log and how powerful it is to log in a duck UI. Of course, if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because even if you subscribe, you might not get all of my new videos on your feed and I hope you really want them to appear there. So hit that notification button and as always, I will see you in the next one.